what's up? Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm doing a very long awaited thrift haul. I've not done one of these in such a long time and you guys, ah, my cat. If you guys watched my last video, you know I have a cat, you know I'm in a new house. You know I'm doing so many things, but I'm trying to get back into the swing of YouTube and he's being crazy right now, so. I've been thrifting a couple times since I've been to Nashville. I've actually been selling so much of it on my Depop, so make sure you guys go follow me on my Depop. It will be right here because I usually always post the items before I'm able to film a haul. I'm also going to be showing a couple items I have already showed on my channel, but I was keeping them for myself. And now I've decided to sell them on Depop because I'm kind of trying to clean out my closet. I mean, you guys know how that goes. It doesn't really work out well. But yeah, they're really awesome pieces that I just want to re-show you guys. Be sure to go follow me on my Instagram if you are not already. It's just at Stephanie Colvin. Go follow me. So let's just go ahead and start off this haul with a bang. You guys know that leopard print, animal print, any kind of animal print is super trendy this fall winter season. It was seen all over the runway. Stores like Zara and stuff are doing whole animal print lines. So I just picked up this vintage Liz Claiborne Sport. Would this be like leopard or cheetah? I don't know. But it's kind of velvety material, um, just a little leopard jacket. This would be so cute over a like black sweater and black jeans. Next, I found a pair of Paris Blues vintage pants. These kind of are giving me IMG vibes with the buckling detailing right there. I don't know if you guys can see if it's picking up on camera, but these are dope. These are also kind of flare. Not really, they're more like straight leg. But these are so cool and also the quality is insane. This awesome men's windbreaker, I think this is what it is. It's a vintage sportswear one. So it has awesome detailing with the buckle sleeves. I don't think they actually, oh wait, they actually do unbuckle. So yeah, it just looks like this and then it has some embroidery on the back. This is an awesome menswear piece or women's wear oversized. What I'm about to show you guys is probably the brightest item I've ever found in the thrift store. And I was like, how can I not buy this? It's from the 80s. The brand is East West. And I just like love this logo. Like, it's not focusing, but I want this logo. It is this vintage pair of a neon windbreaker pants. It just has neon green, pink, and orange detailing at the bottom with a zipper. And then, then the main pant is purple, but yeah, these are so cool. I just find a lot of jeans when I go thrifting, but they are the item that goes the fastest and shoes also go so fast, especially because it's getting colder now. People are looking for jeans and like funky pants and stuff. So this is just a pair of mom jeans I found. Just the classic, really nice light wash, high waisted with a little bit of distressing on the bottom just because of the wear and tear. But other than that, these are amazing. And next I found a super funky DIY piece that I think I made DIY. I always say I'm going to DIY these things and then I never wear them, so I don't know. It's from the brand Catch. Catch. I feel like that's a designer brand, but it's probably not. But it's just kind of this western vibey jacket in a tan color with some embroidery detailing on the sleeve. I don't know if you guys can tell. It's the matching skirt. I think I like the skirt better, but... Um, yeah, it just has some cool embroidery on it and then it laces up in the back. It's really cute. Obsessed with these three sweaters I found. I found them all at the same store and one is designer and I saw it and I was like, what the heck? Raw Blue Classics Football Series. Love the brown and orange and tan detailing. Um, I think it's Brooklyn something. But then it has this awesome like patch at the bottom right there. And then it has the number 24 embroidered on the back and little patches all over the sleeves. And everything this is a super cool vintage sweater which I think I'm gonna keep for myself but I'm just not sure when I would ever wear this vintage sweater like it's definitely from the 80s because it has shoulder pads you guys can't see but you can definitely like tell like the sleeves are kind of funky I just love color and I don't have a purple sweater and I thought this would be so cute for a more vintage vibey outfit thing in this haul is this Givenchy Ooh, that was fancy. Givenchy, Givenchy, Givenchy. Am I saying that right? Sweater. Just has the logo right there. And it's just a plain blue sweater. I mean, I am a brand hoe and I wish it said Givenchy um, across the front right That That would literally make my life so cute. Just a really nice knitted blue sweater. I may end up selling this. I'm not really sure when I would ever wear this because it's kind of plain but maybe with a fun jacket um, over it. I also found this vintage little hard rock tee. It just has the hard rock logo and then some little lettuce ruffling trim. 
I feel like these jackets were super popular a couple years ago and I think they're still popular. I was in Forever 21 the other day and I saw a lot of these styled jackets. However, this is a vintage one. It's from the brand Dollhouse. It has the shearling fur. Is that what it's called? Shearling fur? With the corduroy outing. This is such a great 80s jacket. I'm not sure if it's completely vintage, but this is definitely super popular in the 80s and 90s. Little tops. Um, super into vintage stuff again, like Bella Hadid. GG Kindle, their whole vibe is my vibe right now also. So this is from Wet Seal, so it's obviously not vintage, but it kind of has the little poofy sleeve um, detailing around the breast area. Really cute. I haven't tried this on yet. I don't know if it's going to fit. And then I also found this super cute short sleeve sweater from No Boundaries. I think this is vintage just by the fit of it, but I thought this would be super cute with a pair of mom jeans and sneakers. Um, it would be very fitted and flattering, and I love the stripes on it. Yogurt stock. I think it's definitely 80s, you guys can tell. But it's just this amazing little bomber jacket, but it just has crazy like detailing all down the sleeves and everything. And this looks super cute, like styled and dressed up with like a pair of jeans and stuff. So now I'm going to show you guys three older things that I'm not sure if I've showed you guys. I think I have, but I was keeping them in my closet and I just never ended up wearing them. So I'm going to show you guys those really fast. Green checkered plaid, super high-waisted pants. These are awesome. The detailing is crazy and they're very high-waisted and flattering. 96 um, original Olympics. Bomber jacket from the 96 Olympics, I already said that, but just has the little Olympics logo right there. And then in here, and then it's by the brand Starter, and it just says USA on the back. This is so cool. I also am getting rid of this pair of Tommy jeans from my wardrobe. They just have the Tommy logo right there. They're super high-waisted and very straight leg baggy. These are like kind of a carpenter style fit, um, if that makes sense. I think that's what it's called. They don't have any like strap detailing, but they're definitely very wide and a super cool pant. This really cool leather jacket with amazing detailing on the back. I love this jacket. I just have never worn it. This jacket and then it just has amazing fringe on the back and a cool detailing. And last but not least, this sweater was such a fave from everyone when I wore it in a video. But I've decided to get rid of it because I just don't think I'm going to wear it again. I don't know. But it's a super colorful, bright sweater. This will all be on my Depop. So that is it for this thrift haul. If you guys like this video, make sure to let me know in the comments down below. Make sure to definitely go follow me on my social medias. I love you guys so much, and I will see you in my next video. Bye. Money, money.